Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to use service principle in Azure Data Factory to access the uh, Azure or Blob Storage data and uh, maybe move the data to the SQL or maybe just uh, between the containers. Uh, we are going to learn how to create the service principle in Azure. Then we are going to provide some permissions uh, to that uh, service principle and to the Blob Storage and then uh, finally we'll be using that service principle in Azure Data Factory linked service uh, to access the data from that Blob Storage. Uh, so what I have here in the portal uh, right there, I have this uh, blob storage. So let me go to the my home here. Here's my blob storage. And then I have a couple of containers here. So there is an input container that has the one CSV file. And I would like to move that file to the output container that is uh, right there. That's empty as of now. But uh, to access this uh, file, uh, I would like to use a service principle. Uh, there are different type of authentications uh, you can use in Azure Data Factory and uh, one is a uh, service principle, there is another one the managed entity and there is a key access and all that. Uh, so here we will be learning uh, how to use the service principle. Um, to create uh, all that uh, service principle, you're gonna go to the, to these uh, three drop downs right there or dots here and then go to the Azure Actor Directory. Once you're there, uh, what you will do, you will uh, click on app registration. Uh, and here I'm gonna go ahead and click on a new registration. I'm gonna give a name called the ADF security maybe or ADF, um, yeah, let's give ADF security, okay? That's the name I'm giving to it. And then we are gonna go ahead and register. So I didn't make a whole lot of changes here, just uh, I uh, went to the uh, app registration and add that app. So here is my application ID for that one. Here is my object ID and here is my tenant ID. These uh, information will be used. Um, so application ID will be used and uh, the tenant ID will be used as well. Uh, now what we are gonna do, we are gonna create a certificate uh, and secret uh, here. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new client secret. And uh, now I'm gonna give this one ADF secret name or whatever, you know, so or third. Uh, CERT. Okay, so that's the uh, client uh, secret I'm creating right there. Let's say hit add, and now that is created. Here's the value. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open uh, another portal here instead of uh, copy and paste in between them. So I'm gonna just leave this one open. Now let's go back here and uh, what I need, uh, I'm gonna go to Azure Data Factory first. And here in the Azure Data Factory, I'm gonna go to the uh, manage here and then uh, we are gonna go to linked service and we are gonna create a linked service. Uh, and uh, before I do the linked service, I totally forgot uh, I need to provide the permission uh, on the blob storage uh, to that uh, um, uh, service principle. So here, uh, that's what we are gonna do. We are gonna go to the storage here and then uh, we are gonna go to the access control. Here we will do that and now I'm gonna go to the add and add role assignment. Now I will go and find the role that I wanna assign. In this case, I'm gonna go with the blob storage um, data contributor. I would like to read, write and all those kind of things. Hit next and here I will select the member. So see right there, user, group, or service principle. So you, once you click there, select member, it's gonna show you different users and the service principles and other groups. So this is my group and these are my users. So I'm gonna search for ADF. And if you remember that we have created ADF for security service principle there. So we are gonna select that, hit okay. And now we are gonna assign. So you see right there, that's going to be Creator right here and type is app. Now the role assignment has been completed and uh, we can view this uh, resource and all that. You can go right here and here that uh, you're gonna see the information. Um, these are roles uh, assigned to it and uh, this is our name uh, of that uh, service principle. This is the type. Uh, now we are good here in the Azure Data Factory. We go to blob storage and uh, we are creating linked service. So we are gonna select a different authentication method here. We have a account key SAS, URI, service principle, manage identity, and user assign identity. We've been using these different, uh, most of the time, account key, but here we are gonna use the service principle. Once I click right there, I need to select my subscription, and uh, then uh, I will select my storage account. 
this is my storage account and the storage account type so it's called storage account type 2 it automatically selected so no problem the tenant automatically is also available here and that's fine if you need to pass a different tenant or something like that you can copy paste here you are it is asking you service principal ID so I'm gonna go back here and if you guys remember right there and uh, if I'm gonna go go to three dots here and then uh, I'm gonna go to Azure data fact uh, sorry directory and here is the app registration and in the app registration I should see that uh, service principal right there and uh, this is uh, I can see and that's the application ID I'm gonna copy right there go back to my data factory and here paste now that's done and we need a service principal key that is uh, already here in the secret remember we created that and I never copied so I'm gonna copy this so value has to be copied now I go back to the service principal key paste it right there leave everything as it is and test connection now our test has been successfully completed and we should be good to go here and you can see that we are using authentication method service principal Let's create our blob storage link service and I'm going to call it BLB LNK and service principal. Okay, so let's create that now. Our link service is created and now I'm going to go to the author and here I'm going to create a new pipeline. In this pipeline, I will be using copy activity and here I will be reading from the source. So I'm going to use the, the new data set here, use a blob storage, and here I will be using CSV file. And now in the link service, I will be using the same link service. So here I will select the container input and then I will select the file. And yes, it does have header and you can import schema if you want. I'm going to go with none here. Now we are going to go to sync here and then in the sync a new data set, blob storage, and uh, I'm gonna go and say CSV file as well and here uh, I will be using the same link service uh, because I'm gonna write this file to different container so output container is uh, fine and here yes it will have header leave that uh, import schema to none and now we are done let's click on open and here I'm gonna provide a total sale uh, copied dot CSV that's the file name I'm given now so it's gonna be in the output container let's go back here and execute our pipeline debug our pipeline has been completed successfully we can take a look here and uh, uh, right here we are reading the data from uh, Azure blob storage and then we are writing the to the same blob storage a different container here one file has read and uh, written to the destination uh, not a whole lot here uh, we can uh, just go back here in the storage go to home here is our storage and then go to containers and here in the container I'm gonna to go to the output click right there and our file is ready click on edit and uh, that data has been written to our output container in the blob storage so you see that uh, these are very simple steps of how you will be creating service principle how you will be providing permission on the blob storage and uh, then how we'll be using uh, in the uh, linked service of uh, Azure Data Factory I hope uh, this video is helpful. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.